This is Global Tail Link. I have a call from Harry Thompson. An inmate at the California State Prison, Los Angeles County, Lancaster, California. This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. To accept this call, say or dial 5 now. Waking up in the cell, this ain't it. Life is a living hell, this ain't it. Food tastes like trash, this ain't it. Lord, please forgive my past, this ain't it. What you doing in the street, is it worth it? Death the prison, only two things, that's for certain. Thank you for using Global Tail Link. Welcome to This Ain't It, where we talk about the destructive behavior and culture that continues to lead our youth to death or incarceration. And I'm live here from a California state prison to let our youth know that this ain't it. I'm your host, Perry Thompson, alongside my co-host, Dusty. How you doing? I'm doing great, on, man. Dusty? What up, my man? Oh, man, that's good to hear, man. Beautiful day, beautiful Sunday, feeling good. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's up with those words of wisdom? Oh, man, the words of wisdom, and I'm going to um, piggyback on what I was talking about last week in regards to putting in work. Um, but the words of wisdom is putting in work is going to bring you a lot of short-term highs and long-term Life devastating the load. Let me say that again and make it clear. When you go put in work, you're going to have a lot of short term highs and a lifelong of devastating load. And what I mean by that is I'm going to take y'all on the mission with me today. I'm going to show y'all the highs and the lows of putting in work. I'm going to try to give it to you. You know, um, not too long where you all get the message. So um, I'm in the neighborhood, you know, me and the homies, we decide we're going to go put in some work. First, we uh, go to put in the work. Most of us, not all of us, are going to be terrified. But nobody's going to say it, though. Everybody's going to be in the car acting like we just so tough, so hard. We'll go over here and do this to these people. But all of us are worried. Some of us are thinking about dying. Some of us are thinking about going to jail. But, you know, we got we to gotta put this image on that, you know, we're willing to just go over here and take somebody's life, harm somebody, and, and it's nothing. You have to play like it's nothing. So we're going to get to uh, what we get to. Terrified. Um, nine times out of ten, we're going to jump out and go do something we really, really don't want to do. Then yeah, we're going to jump in the car. Um, and that was just one of these, uh, these short-term highs that are going to start kicking in. Like you put in the work, you jump in the car with the homies. Oh, yeah, you're going to start getting those praises. Yeah, we're going to be in the car celebrating. Fuck this, fuck that. We're going to be on our way back to the hood. It's going to be all good. That, that, that's some short-term highs. It's going to be feeling good. It's going to be feeling... This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. It's going to be feeling powerful. Just probably shot somebody or kill somebody. You feeling like you just this dude you feeling yourself right now. That them, them short term highs is gonna continue. When you uh get to the neighborhood and all the homies in the neighborhood waiting on you, they gonna we gonna celebrate, yeah man, y'all just went over there and did that, yeah. It's gonna be uh you know it's gonna be good probably that night. Y'all probably gonna go out, get drunk, continue to celebrate. And um it's gonna feel good. I mean them, them short term highs they're gonna feel good. But what I'm gonna guarantee you is Within 48 to 72 hours, those long-term life devastating lows are going to start to creep in. Why are they going to start to creep in? Because when you get away from the homies and all that short-term uh, uh, highs, the reality is going to set in what you just did. And that, that conscience, that, that I want to be a good person, that person that know right from wrong, he's gonna set in. He's gonna he's gonna start talking to you. He's gonna be in your mind. Then all that worry is gonna start to set in. That worry is gonna set in, especially if you if you haven't got caught. Um, hopefully you don't get killed on the way to do the mission. That's a whole nother story. But if you haven't got caught, now you're constantly looking over your shoulder. 
worrying about, um, you know, going to jail, worrying about retaliation from the other people. Um, these are all those lows that are going to start creeping in. Now your life is, uh, from the moment you do that, your life is unstable. Um, can't do anything anymore. Um, if you're on a run, for instance, I want to go to my house and chill. Or for the dudes that got kids, man, let me go uh, chill with my son, go chill with my girl, my baby mama, you know, just relax, kick my feet up, no worries. That's over with when you're on the run. That's over with. Ain't no chilling nowhere comfortably. And that is uh, a feeling that you, know, you don't you don't understand it until you're going through it. You know, you go commit a crime, kill somebody, do something to somebody, and that immediate first 24 hours, you're feeling good. But when everybody go away and all the homies, now you like, oh, my God, man, the police probably looking for me. These people probably looking for me. I'm about to go to jail. I got kids. I got a mama. My mama getting old. My baby mama probably leave me. Those are all those life devastating hmm. lows that are going to creep in. And then, oh, when you go to jail for what you did, oh, they're going to continue. But you're going to get them short-term highs, too. When you get in there, homies, they're going to be right there. They're going to they gonna praise you again. Yep, you're getting them, them short-term highs. The highs is coming back. Oh, yeah, we heard about what you did and all that. Yeah, you're going to get them short-term highs. But when the lights go off and they slam that door and you're sitting on that bunk, and it's just you and that, that indictment or, or, or that information, what they call it, paper you got, where it's say you charged with this, that, and this, and this carry 25 to life, this carry this, and then you know you did it? Oh, yeah, here come them life devastating lows again. Gonna be sitting there, I'm in the world of trouble. And then after that, all those people that you were trying to uh, praise and that you went to put in work to impress, are they going to still be around you? But as you're going to start to see, they praise is continuing to, to, to make you um, think it's okay to destroy your own life. And those are those uh, short-term highs that they give you, make you feel good. But those lows are going to be devastating. Life in prison. Then you're going to be thinking it's a game like I did. Man, I'm only 18, 19. They're not about to really give me life in prison. I'll be out in a couple years. If 10 years go by, 15 years go by, then you run into, hey, oh, gee, how, you, how long you been in here? Oh, I've been in here for 40 years, youngster. Start to set in. This really ain't a game. And again, them devastating lows, life long. They're going to come. And you ain't going to be thinking about none of that when you on the block with the homies talk about going to put in some work. Then, as time go on, you're going to start thinking about putting in work. Like, hold up. Man, what did I get out of going over there doing that? Nothing. You killed somebody's kid who a family probably was struggling just like yours. That's why y'all was out there gangbanging. Or you might have killed some innocent person. Then you're going to be sitting in prison. You and family getting old. Girlfriends leaving. Wondering why you um sitting in here for decades. When you know why you're sitting in here. Some people start feeling pity for themselves and start feeling like, oh, the system wronged me. Like, no. And you went out there did what you got some instant um feel goods or however you want to say it some you know and it felt good to you at that moment but you never thought long term and that's what I didn't do. Um I didn't think long term and now those devastating lows they are um they are depressions, they are constant. Every day I wake up in this place I'm thinking to myself, like, this ain't what they told me. They told me we was going to go to prison, get buff, come out healthy, looking good, do a couple years, and I'll be back on the streets. It ain't nothing. That's what I grew up believing prison was. But that ain't what it is, though. That's our continued culture of um, playing these, these roles and 
these uh, fake images of being these people, and it's really just because we are a lot of our broken people, and we, we, we wear masks, and we know certain things is, is, is fucked up, but it makes us feel good to get out of prison and everybody looking at me all, oh, you just, you look so good, oh, you love, you just did this time, everybody dapping your hands and making you feel good, and not realizing that little kid that's standing there watching it now, he think it's cool to go to prison. And his image of prison is not what prison really is. He's not getting a sitting in a cell depressed, worried about your mom dying on you while you up in here prison. He getting a, oh, you go to prison, get healthy, get buff, hang out with the homies and come back and all the homies gonna be, all the girls and everybody gonna praise you. And that culture is why our uh, our youth continue generation after generation you know going down this road but you know, I'm, uh, I'm going to continue to tell them the, the raw truth and I don't care how nobody feels about you know, what I'm telling them it's the truth and you know, I close this words of wisdom with don't um, go out there and devastate your life for a lot of uh, short-term high and putting in work that is for sure a short-term high and the, 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 the biggest high that you're going to get out of getting put in work from my experience is that high you get when you go back to the block after putting in some work and all the homies is high-fiving you yeah you did that that's it that is the highest of the high is going to get after that it's going to be all downhill of y'all down here, police looking for you, the enemies looking for you, you go to jail, now you're here worried about your family, you worried about your kids, your baby mama, canteen, worried about if these dudes gonna come out and stab you, worried about the ride. It's all down here after that. So, you know, think about that. Next time somebody try to put a gun in your hand or something, tell you to go put in some work, think about that. And like Dusty always say, there's somebody on here right now who gonna hear me? They gonna go out and still do it. And when they sitting in that cell, they gonna remember this day. I told them it's gonna be a lot of short term highs, and the lows gonna be devastating. This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. Where's the wisdom for the day? How you think about that? Day? Man, your testimony today was amazing. Real talk, man. You you laid it out perfectly, and sadly, there is, like you said, someone who is experiencing everything that you experienced that's going to land them where you are. And man, if we could just change one dude's life, because man, that that was really deep, man. I don't know how you come up came up with that. That's you need to write that down or something, or maybe it's just something that you've been thinking about for a long time. Yeah, man, it's uh, something that I woke up with on my mind. And uh, so I always, I, I, uh, this is my life mission. So I want to uh, really help our youth. And it's always on my mind. My life, the you know, thing that I've been through, I understand that it is a tool that I, I must utilize to tell the truth because to this day, I don't know nobody that's telling their raw life. So yep. they still want to hold on to the, make it feel like it's, it's something good about being in prison and being a red rider and reputable and all those terms and all that. And all, you know, I feel that I have to do this. I have to do it. I love doing it. And, uh, you know, my mind is always going, brainstorming and trying to figure out a way to, you know, connect with our young people. Man, I got to thank you. And, and I know that, that you are changing lives. I, we got to keep doing this every single week, every single week, because like you said, there's nothing like this on YouTube. There's nobody giving it to, to, to people raw who are still behind the cages, man. Like you're doing something different, man. Oh yeah, man. And uh, we're going to continue to do it. And uh, I can't wait to hit that concrete out there and really uh, be able to sit down and, and talk to our young people. Let yeah. them know. And it's, it's it's, you know, it's you have 60 seconds remaining. Stopping our, our young people from, you know, murdering each other. But my mission is also to show them, man, we've been in the box. Like, I'm going to talk more about the stock market and, you know, 
financial literacy. Like more and more, I study that stuff. I mean, like, man, we've been stuck on some stupid. Man. And you know, I look forward to you know educating myself and continue to educate my people. And thank you too, Dusty, for giving me this opportunity. Yeah, of course, man. Something told me when I met you that. This is something that I needed to be part of because this is my mission too, man. I was never in the life, but my mission is to save kids' lives because they are dying by the thousands out there, man. Any last words, dude? Oh, man. No, man. Everybody take care and, you know, save our youth. Yeah, man. Will you be safe behind there? And I look forward to to chatting with you next week, man. And um, all my best, homeboy. All right, man. You have a Waking up in the cell, this ain't it. Life is a living hell, this ain't it. Food tastes like trash, this ain't it. Lord, please forgive my past, this ain't it. What you doing in the street, is it worth it? Death the prison, only two things, that's for certain.